So, good afternoon folks, testing the latest 8.3 and first of all we can look at the hardware. So the Brunner's joystick is basically saying zero and the position is basically zero on pitch but on the low assist display it is showing a little lower. So the display must show centered and uh, if we continue with just uh, the sys display uh, at about i think 6250 each uh, 6250 that is basically 5.0 it should be centered and when I go to the end, it should go to the end. When it go to the end. So end positions is calibrated perfectly. This is not, I think. I don't, I, not 100% on this. But yeah. So basically everything else is working. And the controls feels, feels linear. Yeah. So it's only the center position that needs some, some tuning. So now we have checked the controls. Everything is programmed for flight. So I, I noticed one more thing that is I should have N1 value on take of 94.2. So 94.2. I've noticed that the plane goes down to 89% N1 after 2,000 feet. I not hundred what that uh, what that uh, general configuration. If it has something to do with the uh, 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 thrust reduction alt attitude or something calibration audio volume realism how do you feature visual hardware display variants exterior system maybe i should test the uh, test the new things test the uh, hud for example that is better is it easy to put what I've noticed is that it's very hard to put it down. Can't really put it down. Uh, so how do I put it down? What is the click spot for putting it down? Is it... No, that's the cover. How am I supposed to put it down? So if I go to the side, maybe. So a good click spot for the HUD is, would be a good thing. Ah, there is a good click spot. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay. So there we have it, yeah, that feels nice. And if I move, yeah, if I move up and down, yeah, that is that feels nice. So W, yeah. So we are ready for takeoff. Everything is set. Jake did takeoff and I will push Toga. So so push controls forward stabilized neutral So I still think that 
controls are a little too effective. Look at how little I putting in. So yeah, I will let, because the autopilot seems to work quite good, I will use autopilot. Flaps to two, flaps to one. So now it's reducing to 988% N1, which, which the Level D sim did not do. Wonder if that has something to do with the trust reduction altitude or something. Because cruise is 87 and climb should have 90. It should have 94 should have yeah i don't know why it said climb one climb one climb two no 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 so at this stage it should have 94 percent n1 so i will put that to 94 uh 94 let's do that and check what the plane does. So here it should have quite a lot of climb and it ha has, so it's good. So, so far everything is good except that it reduces the N1 to a value I can say. And you can also hear the trim is also a little too big trim value and a little erratic. Can't decide what trim value to have. Now it's it should trim forward when the speed goes up, but it should not trim all the time, and it should not have seven in this part of the flight should basically the whole approach the, the whole takeoff it should have the value that uh, uh, that the it said on the uh, takeoff page now I can't see it of course but it 5.75 uh, in trim value and it should have that and trim forward when the speed goes up so all the way up to 210 knots, uh, it should be quite close to 5.7. And now the speed will increase and of course it will trim the plane four nose down. It should not have this kind of acceleration. It should have 9.5 something uh, in, in uh, vertical speed not now it's down to two and you can al already see now that this problem will sh overshoot this so i will do as i should to keep the passengers uh, keep the passengers happy and only climb with thousand feet a minute so now it uh, is a thousand feet a minute and now it pl should probably start spooling down the engines but it doesn't spool down the engines so it overshoots quite a lot almost over speed no it didn't do that this time that's interesting didn't do this 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 time but this still very erratic trim 5.4 probably I can't say what the trim value should be in this phase of the flight 
I did not record that. But, and also, it should not have top of descent there. So, I will do what the level D sim did, and I will descend about here. So, when I am across from the GD72, I will set level change. And then I will set the Let's see how fast the uh, throttles go down. So about here. So level change, first part of the flight. Should wonder if it's the time, and now I will reduce to 240 knots. See how well it behaves. So it should reduce the sand to something around five six hundred I think five six hundred it reduces to eight hundred you see the trend and I want to I want to have at this point so you can see I'm 500 above the uh, under the path. It's quite drastic when it reduces speed. It will reach 240 knots much earlier. And it should be the same if I use VNAV or level change in this part of the flight. It should be basically the same. So I'm already at 240 knots here. I think that means that the speed has been reduced too fast. And it will probably spool up engines. No, it will descend 1350. So we will put, put VNEV back on. And it, of course, it will do this it wants to keep the speed but the thing is and when it reaches the path it should reduce to idle again so and the click sound regardless of how hard so this is quite good about 1350 feet 1400 feet a minute here and it's on path yeah exactly this could go to the descent page see the exact value now 
Now the speed goes down, then it should increase the centrate a little. Or it should maybe have, uh, if it goes below, I don't know. I don't know how much it, the plane are allowed to go under the speed. Now it's adding throttle because the speed went to to or down. Now it's decreasing, so this is not the throttles also need to be tuned a little because of course it should add throttle, but ah maybe that was okay. Um, now it's really getting closer to the details uh, the details so i i can't see the difference between level d and and cebu it's very minor things and that can be my own error so now we are going to set pressure and missed approach altitude and 3000 feet and also set the uh, decision height that should be something around 689 I think missed approach altitude for Landvetter So, and now we are closing in to the VR. We can already now set the approach mode. My pal friend said you can always prepare in advance. So the ILS frequency is set. You can also set. Shouldn't that pick up the VRs? We have these two VRs. Shouldn't this pick up the VR now? So now at least it's turned in. And it turned back. Little too early. Should be... So now it will... What will it do? Stay. Not correct. Okay. And now I put one degree of flaps in. Two degree of flaps. It's a little early to put this much flaps in, but anyway. That is nice. What brightness? Does that work? Doesn't see a difference. Manual auto. Maybe I should start preparing for 
landing. Speed check flaps 15. Should have done this before. Speed check flaps 25. flap 30 and 146 too much there so ah cool Cool. This isn't cool. Cool. And you can see that it's plane struggles to hold aileron when it gets closer, but that's sure a thing he will fix. So disengage autopilot and try to, to nail this landing. And I will try to control the throttle myself. Oh my god, it'll turn back to the runway. Oh, and don't lose altitude. Back. So there we have it. No. No. Still believe you should need to have more, more. Still think you saw the amount of elevator I put in it wasn't much I think you should need to have about here at least uh, almost half I remember you had to have and I think we can have I think we can have um see on the youtube clip when when the plane does auto land we can see how much uh, aileron ele elevator it puts in so there we have it thank you guys